Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From iNews under the main headline of security firm asked staff to bring handcuffs to deal with. Sacked P&O ferries workers. Summary of headline article. Exclusive a security firm asked for handcuff trained staff to be deployed to Dover and board ships. To deal with sacked P&O ferries staff who might become challenging. A leaked email appears to show. Photos provided by laid off workers were said to show security guards boarding the Pride of Kent in the port of Dover after today's shock announcement of 800 redundancies. Other photos were said to show agency staff waiting to board the Spirit of France ferry in Rotterdam, as well as stunned P&O workers leaving the vessel at the Dutch port. Security guards would then be dispatched by coach to Dover docks to assist the client in their delivery. Agency staff are set to replace the sacked P&O employees. One worker said staff were corralled in the ship's cafeterias by security guards after boarding the vessels. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Russian casualties estimated at 7,000. Western officials say Kiev assault now in doubt a euro, live. Summary of headline article. 1706 Russia is struggling to make military progress in and around Kiev. Western officials said on Thursday afternoon. And. There is a question as to whether Moscow now intends to try to assault Kiev or not. Dan Saba reports. An estimated 7,000 Russian troops have died in the fighting so far and 10% of the invading armies. Equipment has also been destroyed. Prompting questions as to whether the army on the ground has the will to continue fighting. I think there is a question as to whether Moscow now intends to try to assault Kiev or not. And I don't know the answer to that, the official added. To do so, in my judgment, with or without bombardment, would be very costly. It may even be possible for Ukraine to fight Russia to a standstill. The official added, and the growing possibility of a military stalemate could help bring a successful conclusion to the ongoing peace negotiations on both sides. From the Guardian under the main headline of hoax caller claiming to be Ukrainian PM got through to UK Defence Secretary. Summary of headline article. An inquiry has been launched after an apparent hoax caller claiming to be the Ukrainian Prime Minister. Denis Shmihal was able to get through and speak directly to the Defence Secretary. Ben Wallace. Today an attempt was made by an imposter claiming to be Ukrainian PM to speak with me. In May 2018, Boris Johnson, then the Foreign Secretary, talked about international relations and rude poetry. With a hoax caller who pretended to be the Armenian Prime Minister. In one. An imposter claiming to be the head of GCHQ Robert Hannigan managed to get through to the then. Prime Minister David Cameron on his mobile. In the other, a caller rang GCHQ and managed to obtain Hannigan's mobile phone number. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Tears of Joy as Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe arrives. Back in UK. Summary of headline article. Mr. Ashori appeared to be taking photos with the pilots in the cockpit on the plane. As they waited to disembark, Mr. Ashori was then reunited with his family, who were in tears as they embraced. Mrs. Zaghari Ratcliffe appeared in the video and hugged and kissed her daughter and asked her, Do I smell nice? before holding her hands. Reunited at last, Mrs. Zaghari Ratcliffe with her husband Richard and their daughter Gabriella, hand out Mrs. Zachary Ratcliffe was detained for six years after being accused of plotting to overthrow the 
Iranian government. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe reunited with her family 1, 14 Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe reunited with her family Nazanin arrives home free Nazanin the Zaghari Ratcliffe family are finally reunited. After Nazanin was detained for nearly six years in Iran free Nazanin Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. Lands at Bryce Norton Simon Dawson, No. 10 Downing Street, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce. Norton Simon Dawson, No. 10 Downing Street, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce Norton Simon. Dawson, No. 10 Downing Street, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce Norton Simon Dawson, No. 10. Downing Street Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce Norton Simon Dawson, No. 10 Downing Street. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce Norton Simon Dawson, No. 10 Downing Street Nazanin. Zaghari Ratcliffe Lands at Bryce Norton Twitter released British, Iranian nationals arrive home to the UK Getty images the plane carrying Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and Anusha Ashori arrives at Bryce Norton, Oxfordshire. After they was freed from detention by Iranian authority Paragonese endured must never happen. Agains Trust said Mrs. Zaghari Ratcliffe and Mr. Ashori's release was down to years of hard work and dedication, by diplomats and intensive efforts over the past six months. From Reuters under the main headline of scant progress in peace talks as Ukrainian cities pounded. In more Russian attacks. Summary of headline article. The Ukrainian armed forces said on Thursday Russian forces had lost their offensive potential and were stopped in all directions. But the Russians have failed to capture a major city in the face of spirited resistance from Ukrainian forces. A fourth straight day of talks between Russian and Ukrainian negotiators took place by video link. But the Kremlin said an agreement had yet to be reached. One nineteenth a woman with a child evacuates from a residential building damaged by shelling. As Russia's attack on Ukraine continues. In Kyiv, Ukraine. In this handout picture released March 16, 2022, Ukrainian Defense Ministry spokesman Oleksandr Motuzienik said Russian forces had made no significant advances around Kyiv in the past 24-48 hours and had resorted to chaotic shelling. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Bank warns of 10% inflation risk after third. Interest rate rise. Summary of headline article. The global economic outlook had deteriorated significantly following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In late February, the MPC said in the minutes of its meeting. This is likely to exacerbate global supply chain disruptions and has increased the uncertainty around the economic outlook significantly. Domestically, the UK economy recovered from Omicron more strongly than anticipated at the start of the year. The MPC said, but soaring inflation is taking a toll since the MPC's previous meeting. Financial market. Household and business indicators of inflation expectations had risen, policymakers said. These appear to have been exacerbated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the minutes of the meeting said. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of P&O Captain hailed a hero. Summary of headline article. Eugene Favier, who is in charge of the pride of Hull sealed himself and his crew inside the ferry after P&O announced mass redundancies. Reports say the occupation finally came to an end after Captain Favia went ashore and negotiated with the firm's bosses. The crew of the Pride of Hull are now leaving the ship after P&O agreed to provide paperwork requested by their union. What a hero!
rising to the moment and supporting his crew as they resist this disgraceful action by P and O. Earlier today, P and O released a statement saying they would be making a major company announcement to ensure the long-term viability of their operations. From the Telegraph under the main headline of BBC pays substantial sum to Princess Diana's private secretary over Martin Bashir interview. Summary of headline article. The BBC has paid Diana. Princess of Wales's private secretary. Patrick Jefferson. A substantial sum in damages and apologized unreservedly for the harm caused to him over Martin. Bashir's panorama interview. The documents falsely suggested the individuals were being paid for keeping the princess under surveillance. In a statement, the BBC said, The BBC accepts and acknowledges that serious harm was caused to Commander Jefferson as a result of the circumstances in which the 1995 interview with Diana, Princess of Wales, was obtained which have become apparent as a result of the Dyson report. The BBC apologizes unreservedly to Commander Jefferson for the harm caused to him and has paid his legal costs. The BBC has also paid Commander Jefferson a substantial sum in damages, which he intends to donate in full to British charities nominated by him. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Piggy backing off your Matea Euro S Netflix account. Looks like the Giga Euro S up. Summary of headline article. It was announced yesterday that Netflix will launch a trial in which primary account holders will need to pay for users who are outside of their household. Features will include, add an extra member where account holders can sub up to two people outside of their households for 2,380 Chilean peso. We've always made it easy for people who live together to share their Netflix account, said Chung Yi Long, Director of Product Innovation, in a Netflix blog post yesterday. Netflix Netflix is said to have around 222 million members worldwide and is still the largest U.S. streaming platform. Perhaps Netflix will change the passwords or notify account holders of piggyback viewers. From the sun under the main headline of total UK COVID cases since pandemic began hits 20M. With 89,717 new infections. Summary of headline article. The UK has reached over 20 million coronavirus infections today after a further 89,717 people tested positive for the virus. The update from the UK Health Security Agency. UK HSA comes after another study found that COVID infections are at their highest ever levels. Fresh data from the Zoe COVID study app found daily infections have increased by 46% in a week at around 258,155 currently. Professor Tim Spector Lead scientist on the Zoe COVID study app warned that while restrictions have been scrapped, the pandemic is not quite over. He said, COVID cases are now at the highest levels the Zoe COVID study has ever recorded. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.